it is me and my tea. And as we can see, the March 2023 Lush Kitchen Box has arrived and I'm so excited because as I was setting up the camera to film, I could smell this box from the other side of the room. That's just how wonderful it smells. So without any more further ado, let us get into this fabulous kitchen box, shall we? So here we have our cute little sticker and I have it started peeling so that I don't totally rip the box as I open. <gasps> There we go, yay! So if you're unfamiliar with the Lush Kitchen Box, it is a monthly subscription service and you get some fun, exclusive bath goodies every month. And uh -huh, fresh from the kitchen, there it is. Um, you might have seen the last one I did was the December box, which is very Christmas wintery themed and I'll have that linked up there. Um, I missed the January, which I'm really bummed out about, and then I skipped February because there wasn't anything in the vote that I was really interested in. And each month you get to vote for some items, and some items are a surprise. There can be exclusive goodies, like pins or tote bags in here. Ooh, so here we have our little card, and it looks like the theme is Feel Good Florals. Bloom in Mother Nature's sweet embrace with uplifting citrus and delicate floral and essential oils. So you can scan for the exclusive content right here if you want to. And then right here we have our ingredient form, which I am not going to look out because as River Song would say, spoilers. So first thing I see are our fabulous biodegradable little packing peanut star thingies. So these are just gonna go everywhere. Rory's gonna have so much fun with those items. <gasps> Ooh, and there's a bunch of goodies I see. Okay, so the first one I'm going to look at. I'm not gonna look at all of them. I'm gonna be surprised and dig through the peanuts. Ooh, so the first thing we have is B Electro Shower Gel. And I believe this was one of the ones to vote for. I think I remember voting for this because it looks so fabulous. It is a funky, funky, bright, limey green, which is fabulous. And it says it is a zinging, zing of grapefruit sweet you away to breakfast in Paris while fresh rose petals infusion and exotic jasmine sweetens your skin. Ooh. So let's have a quick sniff. Gotta get that little lid off. Oh, wow. This is really gorgeous that um, the jasmine is very light, so it's more of a grapefruit and rose. Ooh, it's really nice. And let's see if I can... Ooh. So it's a pretty thick, kind of gloopy, slimy shower gel, so it's not really, really um, thin, which is nice because I hate wasting shower gel because it's so thin and it just falls everywhere. And let's see if we can see what the special hidden word is. If you've ever gotten Lush products like in the pots or in their jars behind the little sticker that has the person's name on it, there's usually a fun little word. If I can get the sticker, that is. There it is. There's the little word. It says, it's electrifying. If the camera will focus, that is. There we go. So we have rose petal infusion, we have fine sea salt, fennel oil, grapefruit oil, jasmine absolute, rose absolute, organic jojoba oil, oh, absolutely divine. So I'm just gonna set that right there. Up next, ooh, there's so many goodies. We have, I don't remember this one. I think this wasn't one, was this the one we voted for? Ooh, whatever it is, it smells absolutely gorgeous. It's green. I think it is a bubble bar and it has little corn flowers on it. Ooh, and it just smells really, really fresh and clean. Kind of like um, walking through a forest, if that um, gives you any ideas. I'm gonna quickly cheat and look at the spoilers because let's see, what is it? Okay, so it is Flower Tub Bubble Bar. I think that is one that they added, and it wasn't one that we voted for. And it says, let's see, it has Cypress Oil, Orange Flower Absolute, Olibanum Resin, Violet Leaf, 
and then dried larkspur, marigold petals, rose petals, blue cornflowers. So I think it is the olibanum that is giving that really rich kind of earthy scent to me. And that is just gorgeous. I think it's going to make really nice bright green um, bubbles in the bath or the water will be bright green and then the bubbles will be white. All right, next. Oh, okay. So we have the Mamma Mia shower scrub. This is a usually an exclusive that comes out during Mother's Day, but they haven't had it for, I'm going to say like maybe two, maybe three years now. So it is a pink scrub that restores your skin's natural glow. And I think if I, ooh, there it is. Wow, it is so pink. There it is, the shower scrub. Now I did not vote for this in the vote. Um, because I'm not the biggest fan of the scent, but I will enjoy using it as a shower scrub. And let's see, it says, da, da, da. what are the scents? Pink grapefruit puree, um, pink grapefruit peel, Himalayan rock salt, bergamot oil, rosewood oil, vanilla absolute. And let's see the little word behind here, if I can get that little tag off. It can be super tricky because they're sticky. And I think that's why most people don't know that there's a fun little secret word behind the stickers. Because who's gonna think of looking behind a sticker for a hidden word? Okay, so it is Mamma Mia. <laughs> Mamma Mia. And then the word underneath is here I go again. So that is really fun. And thank you to the person that made this product. So that is our next item. Do, do, do. Just set you right there. Next, uh, ooh, we have some fun. Oh, this is fun. How fun. Oh, wow. This is fun. Cause this is whole lot of roses fun. This is actually the first fun. I've seen it in stores. I think I've maybe gotten a little sample a couple times, but this is my first full size and it says, mold your own bouquet of flowers, then wash up with this fresh floral fun. Now, um, for those of you who don't know what fun is, it's kind of like a four-ish in one um, bath product. So think bath Play-Doh because you can mold it. You can use it as um, shampoo. You can use it as body wash. You can also use it as, I think, um, like for a bubble bath. Ugh. So I believe this is the scent of rose jam, if I am not mistaken. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yes, it looks like it's rose. Yeah, this is definitely rose jam scented because it's geranium oil, rose oil, lemon oil. That's definitely the scent of rose jam. And the colors are so gorgeous. I cannot wait to sculpt some little roses out of this and Let's see if I can peel back the sticker. Ooh, this one's peeling much nicer. So a whole lot of roses. And the secret word is blooming bubbles. That is so fun. Ha! Fun. I'm so punny. <laughs> next, next, next. Ooh. We have a soap. It is a nice little chunk of pink soap. Ooh. And this was one that um, we voted for. Um, oh no, 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 I forgot. This isn't a, um, this isn't a soap. It is actually a body lotion. So smooth all over your body, taking extra care with your dry spots. And it has rapeseed oil, coconut oil, um, fair trade cocoa butter. We have cold press evening primrose and Sicilian lemon oil and Brazilian orange oil and rose absolute. Now with the evening, um, Primrose oil is very nice for firming up skin. So if you have certain parts of your body that you want to firm up, evening primrose is wonderful for plumping and filling things out. And this scent is just, it's simply gorgeous. It is a bright citrus with that wonderful, sweet, rosy smell to it. Mm, here, I'm just gonna hold it up to you. You, you can s smell, smell the lovely rosiness. Ugh. This is fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna set that one right there. Let's see if there's anything else hidden in the bottom. 
I'm not seeing anything. I'm seeing several flower petals. I'll let you know what time it is if it's this. Yes! It wouldn't be a lush unboxing if I didn't pour all the packing peanuts on my head. Oh, the mess that I just made, but it is worth the fun. All right, I think that is, let's see, is that everything in there? Yes. So things that we voted, that were in the vote were the Ring of Roses body lotion, the Mamma Mia shower scrub, and the Bio Electro shower gel. The one that I was also hoping for that I had voted for was um, Lover, uh, Loverly Bath Bomb, and I believe it was like um, a floral violet -y shaped bath bomb. I was really hoping for that because it was inspired by My Fair Lady, which I absolutely love that movie. So I'm a little sad that that one's not in there, but I really enjoy the um, flower tub and the whole lot of roses. Those were nice add-ons for Lush's part. And so far for the two boxes I've gotten, there's products in here that I've really, really enjoyed. And the Christmas box now has me addicted to the scent of 29 High Street, so I feel like I now have to make a trip to Pool, England just to get that exclusive perfume because it is gorgeous and I absolutely love it. <sighs> well, everybody, I hope you have enjoyed this rather luscious Lush Kitchen unboxing. What were your favorite items? Please do leave a comment down below. I'd really love to hear what you think of this month's box and... Also, I just really love answering comments. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps with the ye old algorithm. And if you're interested in checking out another one of my videos, you can go ahead and click right here. And if you are new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you never miss my videos ever again. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!